Look, I'm looking at it. You raised your kids, but uh -huh. you raised your nieces, your nephews. You yeah. raised almost 15 kids. Played yeah. for them to go to foot or go to uh, college. Sure did. Kids playing football and basketball, something sure. that you couldn't do. Why did you do why are you doing this? Because, Shannon, I knew what it was like to grow up without a father. Uh -huh. Most of them didn't have a father. Right. I had no choice. Right. I did what I had to do. Some of them appreciated and some of them didn't. Some of them I talked to and some of them I don't. Some of them I hadn't talked to in years. Hold on. It be like that. Even after you've done everything bruh, that you've done. Bruh, it be like that. The wrong person getting a child ear against you or whatever, it's just that way. People be naturally jealous. Right. And I don't know what you're jealous of because I shared everything that I had with you. Right. But I had a nephew, Terrell, that played, uh, I had uh, three college athletes come out of my house. Right. One played basketball for Miles College. Mm -hmm. Nephew Terrell, uh, who is a running back coach at Woodlawn High School, played running back for Middle Tennessee State University. Mm -hmm. And then my son, uh, Malika Alabama State. So I had at college athletes come out of the house. Right. And stuff. And, uh, you know, and, and all of the nieces and nephews wasn't biological. Some of them, Shannon, just didn't have nothing and nowhere to go. Right. And I had to help them. And they are off doing good and doing big things now. Right. Nephew uh, that has his doctor degree, my nephew, Deltrick, um, got some Greeks in the house. My daughter's an AKA. Right. You know, a um, couple of Qs in the house or whatever, and a Kappa. So I, I, we got degrees on the wall, uh, Education Matter. Uh, sent a couple of kids to IMG Academy. That's where my son went right. or whatever. So I perform, man, just where I can educate right. and give them an opportunity because right. I don't need anything. Right. Um, what are some of the challenges of being a single father? And then in the process of becoming a single father, how rewarding is it when you see the manifestation of your work? Uh, the challenging part is... Uh, Especially with your, with, with your life. Yeah. Well, well, it wasn't really that challenging being a single father because I had help. You hire somebody. I had a lady from my church. Right. Name is Pat. Okay. Miss Pat, no nonsense. She don't play. She'll knock them out. She'll cuss them out or whatever. And she holy and then down. Right. Miss Pat and before Miss Pat, Miss Bishop would help me out with that. So I could easily jump on the plane and go out of town right. and do what I need to do. And she I had, had, I had, a, hold it down for had a support system or whatever. And what was the second question? The, the manifest and, and to see that your hard work Oh, Shannon, uh, to lay in the hotel room and uh, watch my nephew playing for Middle Tennessee State University right. run up and run a touchdown. And I'm sitting in the bed, and I remember him sitting in my lap crying because his father got killed. His father was my one of my best friends, was my frat brother. Yeah. I remember you told me you, that you raised him. Yeah, man. And I'll never forget two days before Christmas, he came in my room, he had that look in his face and he started crying. And he sat in my lap, man, and had his head on my shoulder. I said, listen, man, it's gonna be okay. I said, I know how you feel, man. My dad died too. And we talked about it, I said, but you will smile. I said, you will smile. Now he's helping other kids that don't have fathers, 26 years old, graduated college, high school running back coach. But to see them kids on TV, to see my son, uh, on the big screen at Alabama State, and he's getting ready to go into law school. Right. You know, and to see what my daughter is doing, and all the degrees on the wall, all of the kids that we've helped, Shannon, it's been a. That's the reward. I, I, I don't. I just want them to do good, and I wanted them to have a chance or whatever, because I had uncles to step up to the plate, and I know how important that is. Right. So to have an uncle, Ricky, or somebody that's going to hold you accountable to step up to the plate and be there for you and for you to become something is everything. Was it important for you to break the stigma that black men aren't in their kid's life? And Absolutely. Like, yeah, we are. We're Absolutely. Here. I went through that. And we want to be here. You're damn right. And I ain't going nowhere. Um, I, I went through that uh, uh, with my oldest son, you know, uh, having a hard time seeing him. That all work, worked out or whatever. I've been through the court system. I've had judges that wasn't fair. Uh, a judge in Alabama said, uh, the reason I don't award men custody of their kids because I never seen a cow follow his pappy. That was quoted by a judge in the state of Alabama. Now that the laws is changing, they have fa father's rights movement. Right. Men do hair. I mean, my daughter, I do them little do doggone 
uh, uh, two little okay. Afro puffs. Man, I know how to put that part down the middle and get that pink oil moisturizer, <laughs> rub it in my daughter's hair, drop that part down the middle, put them two little things in, in, in them little Afro puffs. Yeah. Only mistake I made was sending her to school in some pajamas because I thought it was an outfit from Limited 2. But I thought it was an outfit, but I didn't know that it was a pajama, but she thought she was gonna get fussed at, so she didn't say anything. And I get a phone call from the school, said my daughter was at school crying because she didn't want to go to class because she had on pajamas. I said, it's not pajamas, that's a brand new outfit. I had just bought it from Limited too. Right. Well, come to find out it was pajamas, but I thought it was an outfit. So. It was a uh, pajama outfit. It was a pajama <laughs> outfit, it, it, it was a bed and not class. class. But, uh, but yeah, man, it's, it's um, uh, Shannon, it was fun, man, uh, being an uncle, being in the house, screaming up the steps, hey, stop jumping on, running up the steps, going up there with the belt, popping everybody one time, sit down, sit down, sit down. Nobody crying, the licks didn't hurt. You know, go to bed, go to bed, go to bed, take a shower, have you had a, man, that was fun, man. Right. The whole highlight of my life, is, you know, dads don't do nothing but this. Hey! Don't make me come out there. That's it. You don't even have to say, don't make me come up there. You just, hey! Then the stomping stop. Yeah. So I got so I have my grandson there now. Yeah, you adopted your grandson. So, yeah. So I'm I just became a first-time grandfather. What? How, yeah. So let me so so give me give me some pointers. What 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 did the grandson call you? Pop pop. Pop pop. I don't, I'm not a fan of it. I won't I, I, if somebody can give me some hip. Right. I like G pop. Right. Now my granddaughters, I'm finna start trying to train them. Right. To start saying G pop because it got a little swag, just right. a little swag to it. Pop is still there, P O P. Yeah, but G pop, right? You know what I'm saying? Now my grandson called me Pop Pop, P O P P O P. Yeah, but I'm trying to. I'm gonna be Papa Shay. Oh man, Pop Pop Papa Rick, Papa Rick. <laughs> Shannon, I'm for real. You laughing, but I'm dead. But you gonna be Papa Shay? Papa Shay. Is the grandbaby here yet? It's here. Okay, how? how Two weeks. Okay, my granddaughter that was just born. Congratulations, first of all. Congrat, bruh, br girl or boy? Boy. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Oh, I can sit back. I can cross my legs on this one. I already done told him. I'm gonna have the kid just like just like you were. When I bring him back to you, he gonna be just like you were when you came to me. You no think, more, no, nothing less, nothing more, nothing less. You think you loved your kid. <laughs> when that boy look you in the eye and smile, and you combing his hair to the side. I got all the videos. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I got, I'm gonna have his hair like mine. Yeah, yeah, with, I, part, I, with the old school part. Then I, I, I did that. I did that on Facebook. Blew up. <laughs> Just in there. Come, 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 come. <laughs> you know, people get mad at me on Facebook because I talk heavy to him. Right. That's to make him tough. Right. So when he go out in the real world, he ain't sensitive. Right. I talk to him in a coach tone, like my granddad talked to me. Of and course. It worked. Yes. So my grandson right now is tough. Mm -hmm. It's tough as nails because. I don't care about the curly hair. Right. I don't care about the cuteness. All of them cute. Right. Until they become 15, 16. Yeah. Can't do nothing with them. That's right. That's what I should tell my kid. I say, if, now, if you're going to stay this size, if you're going to stay like seven or eight, I'll let you run them up. Right. But at some point in time, you're going to be a teenager, you're going to be an adult. Right. And all of a sudden, that ain't going to be cute. Right. Right. But, but man, pushing my grandson, teaching my, my grandson just turned six and can swim the length of the pool in, with no, life jacket. My granddaughter is jumping in the deep end of the pool now. Mm -hmm. And she's only three. Wow. Teaching them to swim. Uh, Shannon, you ought to see him throw a football at six. We get in the living room. You ain't teaching that. Who you got working with it? Me. Me. I mean, you. I know you're Alabama fan, so Bryce Young come over? No, me, Shannon. Shannon what about Mac don't, Jones? Jalen Hurts? Don't, 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 don't. Do it. Ask Calvin Ridley. Call Calvin Ridley. Ask Calvin Ridley. Ask him. He'll tell you. You know what to do. Hit the subscribe button and become an official member of Club Shay Shay, where we do something before two something.